After switching on your Chromebook, okay, uh, you need to click your launcher to activate the menu to look for your Zoom app. Okay, so the launcher is found at the bottom left of the screen. Click the up arrow to activate your menu. Okay, so now you can scroll down to look for your Zoom app. You can right click on the Zoom app and pin it to the shelf. So this will be like your shortcut on the main menu. There's two ways to join the meeting. You can click join meeting directly or you can sign in. Okay. Sign in, you need to use your student icon email. Okay, the official student icon email. Then you can sign in to it. After clicking the uh, join meeting or you use your email to sign in, you come to this screen, click the join button. It will lead you to the sign in page where you key in your meeting ID. Okay, click join. The meeting ID will be given to you by the host, okay, which is your teacher, either at the start of the lesson. Okay, so you have to click the uh, key in the meeting ID, which is a string of numbers. After clicking the meeting ID to join, okay, uh, it will depends on whether your teacher is uh, has already opened up the meeting room. So you have to wait, okay, patiently for the host, okay, that is your teacher, to start the meeting so that you can join the uh, meeting room, okay. That's where you'll be prompted to key in your passcode, okay. The passcode will be shared with you, okay, uh, together with the meeting ID. This is to ensure security and you are the intended audience for the Zoom session. So key in the meeting code, okay, it could be uh, numbers or it could be words. Okay, so key in carefully the password and click join. After keying in the passcode, password, okay, you will enter the meeting room and you will wait for the host to allow you into the meeting. Okay. So you can see who is the host. Okay. Once you are signed in, please take note. Double check the bottom left. You have to join the audio by your computer. Allow the microphone. Okay. So that when you need to speak, you can unmute yourself to ask questions. Okay. So when you are not talking, you need to mute. Next thing, you need to join the meeting with your video on. So allow your camera so that the teacher can see who you are. Do ensure that you do ensure that you start the video and keep it on until the end of the meeting. There are a few functions in the Zoom meeting that you are able to use. If you click the participants, you can see that who are your classmates who are joining in the Zoom meeting with you. Okay. So during the meeting, when the teacher is teaching or sharing slides with you, you can actually use the reactions to let the teacher know okay, whether you are able to keep up with the pace of the lesson. Okay, so you can use the reactions, click either yes or no in response to question. Okay, you can click speed up okay, or slow down if you have questions. Or you can even click the raise your hand okay, so that the teacher are aware that you may intend to speak. Okay. So these are the uh, emoticons that you can use to let the teachers be aware of how you are feeling about the lessons. Raise hand for questions. We have come to the end of this sharing. Thank you.